Yo, 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 it's your girl and boy CT. I'm Cindy Barnes. And I'm Travis Barnes. And we are the founders of the Overcomers Podcast. The Overcomers Podcast is designed to help you overcome adversity and live your dreams. Every week, we will be sharing stories of people who found their strength in their struggle. The Overcomers Podcast is sponsored by Journey 333. And that's a lot of threes, so let me tell you what it is. It's fitness, coaching, and nutrition. It is a place where we help you to look better, live better, and feel better, and it is mind, body, spirit. Today, we're going to help you get your mind right with our special guest. Hello, Overcomer Nation. Wow. Hey, some of you heard the podcast with Joe DeSena, where Joe DeSena invited me and 10 crazy overcomers to come out for the death race. Well, I found some crazy folks <laughs> right here. Uh, and, uh, you know, part of the uh, requirements, part of uh, what they ask us to do, is basically say why we're doing the death race. So I'm going to be here interviewing these guys. I got Jeremy, franchise owner of Horse Heads. We got, yeah, yeah. Sorry, where, where I was <laughs> Jeremy of Horse Heads. Wow. I, I was getting ahead of myself. Can I edit this? No. <laughs> so I got Jeremy, franchise owner of Journey Corning. I got Jeff Case right here, franchise owner of Journey Horses. <laughs> Let me just keep my, and, and this guy's virtual. He's not even really here. He's not even really here, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Just, uh, I'm just, uh, just a figment of your, of your virtual imagination. It's great. The director of Journey Virtual. And all these guys are crazy enough to join me in this event as we head out to Joe DeSena's farm for the death race party, as Joe called it in our podcast. Now, what this event is, is it has no definitive start line. So we'll show up on June 28th and we know that we'll be probably starting in the early morning of June 29th and has no definitive end, end time. Uh, a majority of people don't finish it. Uh, so like, it's, it's very challenging. It, it breaks down some of the top athletes, some, uh, some Green Berets, different people like that have just decided, you know what, it's too much. I don't wanna complete this race. In fact, I even read an article recently that said that these people were hanging out on the farm hoping to get the coveted skull and they didn't get it. They even had to chase them off the property because they were still there after 70 hours, but they didn't earn the skull, you know? So it's a real mental challenge. It's going to push you to your breaking points and really test you manually. You can uh, Google the death race, the Spartan death race and see different videos about it. But today we're going to talk about why we're doing it. Maybe these guys are doing it for themselves. Maybe they're doing it for other people as well. Uh, maybe they're doing it to just find out, uh, you know, every obstacle introduces a man or woman to him or herself. So uh, let me start over here in Corning. All right, <laughs> with Jeremy Purefoy. Jeremy, why are you doing this, uh, this race? Well, uh, first thing first, I don't think Kristen really knows that I'm doing it. So uh, <laughs> I guess I'm breaking the news to her right now on this podcast but wow. you know i think sorry um, Kristen. yeah but honestly though i think um you know for parents for people that you know that were athletes or not even athletes that are in a journey right now within fitness right we only want to do something to challenge ourselves and we do people so many times that like you know they don't put themselves first or as their priority like they always you know like i don't have until their parents say like you know i have a uh, cross tournaments or this for my kids like, i don't have time and like at what point do you just find time for yourself to do something that is not normal, right? right. Um, it could be just as coming to a fitness session or taking a chance with a Spartan race or taking a chance on doing a death race, you know, just to challenge yourself to do something that you thought you'd never do. You know, would you vax me? If I would have been doing this three years ago, I'd probably say, nah, I'm good. Don't want to do it. But like, you know, when you asked it, it's like kind of intriguing. And I'm like, you know, how long can I last out there? Can I last a whole 70 hours? So I want to challenge myself. As a parent of two, you know, as a uh, business owner, someone that is, that is busy, you know, that, you know, that, you know, has been suffering with like just, just being super stressed, anxiety these past couple of months with just the amount of work that I, I'm doing and then trying to balance my home life and work life and, you know, just trying to find some time for myself, too. And I think that's so important that you put yourself as a priority um, so you can better serve others. Right. So, like, um, I just hope that you know, Jocelyn, who would understand more of this right now than Julian will, but, like, understand that when they get to parenthood or as they grow, like, to know, like, you do have to put, they have to put themselves first so, so they can really provide for other people, right, and, and, and enjoy your life while you can. We only got one life that we can live, and if you're not living it to the fullest right now, then what's the point of living? 
Uh, that's so good. That's so good. Well, first of all, I want to tell you this was a this was a heck of a way to tell your wife about this. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> sorry, Kristen, <laughs> just got, had to make comment on that. Um, let me ask you this: just a follow up question. Why do you think that people should do hard things? Because how how will you grow? Right, you're never mm-hmm. going to grow. And then again, too, it's like leading by leading from the front. You know, like as a parent, as a coach, as a trainer, if you don't challenge yourself or push yourself to the next level, who's going to follow you? Right. Or like if you have someone that you are inspiring or someone that looks up to you and they see that you give up on everything that you do, like what's going to motivate them to keep going? So like know that there's always someone watching you. Like you are the shadow. Someone's watching every move you're doing. So like if you can provide, you know, uh, and show that you're willing to take yourself to another level. And again, not necessarily going to be a death race, but like even just – you know, if you if you're overweight, if you're tired, if you're not energized, like go make a difference, go make a change, change your life, right? Because you change your life again, you're they're gonna see that, and that's gonna motivate them, and hopefully, like your kids or if you're if your parent uh, or someone in your family sees your results or see what you're doing, that might inspire them to get off their butt to do something different for themselves. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That you know, it's a great way to lead. So, is it safe to say that you're uh, dedicating this uh, race to your members and your kids? I think so. I think members, kids, just people out there that, you know, need something to motivate them to get themselves off the, the couch. You know, cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death. Yeah. You know, you see America is the, the most obese uh, country out there, right? So, like, um, what can we do to keep moving and, and live a life of, of fulfillment, right? And, and feel, feeling full of yourself. Like, how can we live that life? And that's where it is. It's like, for my members to say like, you know, yeah, I go to work all day. Like this is something that I'm doing to show like, you know, it's never too late. We all, we always can do yeah. something, to, you know, push yourself a little further. Yeah, no, that's really good. I'm super excited to do this race with you. I think that uh, I like what you said is you said, uh, I want to, I want to see how long I can last out there. Right. Like, I mean, I want to encourage anybody that's listening that sometimes, you know, you think, well, I won't do that race because I can't keep up. It's not about keeping up with someone else. It's not about, winning the skull. It's not about finishing first in the death race. It's about testing your own limits, right? Like, you know, you have to do hard things so that you can stretch yourself and grow. And, and to be honest, it's been a little while since I've done something so hard. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm excited to grow with you on this race. It's going to be pretty cool. Awesome. Anything else you want to add? All right. Well, then we're going to go over to JC, Jeff Case. Let's go. Horseheads franchise owner, right? You know, I, I don't know where I got ahead of myself earlier. <laughs> I was like ready to introduce everybody all at once. Yeah, yeah. Yourself. it became a Kador says virtual. Anyway, JC, so you know, people want to know why are you doing this race? It's a great question. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> question. Yeah, That's a great question. I'm trying to answer that question myself. <laughs> 110%. Um, for me, uh, Honestly, I'm doing it because, well, I Travis asked us to do it. <laughs> I mean, I the best oh. As a fearless leader from the top, the visionary, you know, um, you know, ever since I've stepped into journey, um, it's been kindred spirits. It's been, it's been like, uh, you know, something that was meant to be. You know what I mean? It was, um, I, I vibed with everything about it, you know, type of deal. And, uh, you know, I know that, uh, you know, my good Lord, uh, you know, told me like he started something good and he's going to complete it. And, uh, well, hopefully it's <laughs> <laughs> hopefully the end isn't on Joe's part. The death, death race, but, uh, you know, Travis explained that, you know, he just explained the, the opportunity, you know, and I, I stand behind, uh, what we do as a company. I stand behind this overcomers podcast and I, I listen to the, you know, all the folks that he's had on, uh, Travis and Cindy have had on the overcomers podcast. And, you know, um, we're just making, we're doing great things and these things impact so many people. And, you know, you had the opportunity that Joe on the call and he gave this opportunity and I'm just trying to align with, with what's going on. You know yeah. what I mean? It went from Joe to Travis. I mean, it went from Travis having Joe to Joe after and Travis an idea and then Travis <laughs> inviting us and, and who am I to say, why would I say no? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I had to ask myself when he said, I'm like, well, I could say yes, or I could say no. 
why would I say no? Because most people would say no. Easy. Yeah. I'm not going to do well, no, it's easy, you know I mean? no, it's easy. Yeah. And I'm not about the easy, you know, I'm about like the challenge. So for me, you know, I started thinking about all the positive things. I'm like, I'm not, you know, of course, like Jeremy, you know, I'm like, well, yeah, I'd like to see how long I could last, but I want to see how long Jeremy's going to last. I want to see how long Sam's going to last. So we've made some jokes about the situation, you know, like, hey, maybe I'll just get on the bus and get there and be like, yeah, I, you know, I'm good. I made it. I made it. I made it. No, no. Um, but just to make light of it. But um, in a way, like that's kind of where it's at. I just want to be in alignment kind of with what uh, I feel in my heart is is what's going on in, in the world around me and the people around me. And I and I want to be a part of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I every day, like Jeremy said, you know, we see. You know, that, that is why we do what we do as fitness coaches and we're into business ownership and things like that. I mean, we see every day the impact it can be made, that can be made by just making it an effort of just saying, I'm not going to be average. I refuse to be average. I, I'm not in the eyes of average people. Average is outstanding. So um, I don't want to be just average. I want to, you know, I, it's a death race, whatever, you know what I mean? What, I mean yeah, whatever. A, whatever. We'll see. You know, what, you know what I'm saying? The courage and just the, the, the confidence to say, like, I, I listen, it's. I'm sure it's going to be rough, tough and all and be everything about it. But, uh, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I take it all on. I embrace it. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited for it. Um, but like, I have tons of members too, who, you know, when I think of Spartan, we're now Spartan Deca affiliates too. And, and, and even just with a, a functional fitness, um, opportunity like that, you know, I, I, I'm constantly with, uh, folks who are, you know, uh, you know, Oh, that, that looks, that looks like too tough for me type of deal. And, and, and we, as, as you all understand, we spend our, 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 we, we put our spirit and our, our love into, you know, behind these folks and saying, no, you got this, you can do this. Like, you know, the whole thing of challenging yourself, like we need that as humans, like, you mm -hmm. know, to, to, to put us on a level to, for us something to aspire to, to say, yeah, I can do hard things like, yeah, you know what I mean? So like, you know, I, I, I accept the challenge, you know, um, I have talked to my wife about it. Um, I don't know if she understands what it is, but she's just one of the, we have five kids and all that. And she's, she's just kind of like, you know, she, what, she just um, got a little bit more yeah, serious. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, you know, I like where you're going. Or, by the way, shout out to Joe DeSena. Thank you for being so generous with your time. You not only did a part one on the podcast, but a part two, uh, as you mentioned, you know, DECA has been a great thing to bring to our community. And we ask members all the time that say that they can't do it. We say, you know, I think you can. And we want you to try this hard thing. Um, so, you know, way to lead from the front and, and be that example, right? You know, because at Journey, we don't just ask you to do hard things. We do them right along with you, whether it's working out with you or, or putting ourselves to the test. We have an upcoming Spartan that Joe gave us 300 entries for company-wide. And we're saying, hey, come do your first Spartan. But we're not just going to be there beside you for that Spartan. We're also going to go and do a death race, which is 70 hours long. Yours will be two hours long. So we're saying if we can do the 70 hours, maybe you can do the two hours with us, right? You know, so yeah, really good. And super excited to see members like uh, in my location uh, challenge themselves to do something like this. So I'm, I'm like, if I'm going to, if I'm going to be preaching that, right, like to do something like that, then I, I have to also be able to do that. Myself, something that's challenging you know I mean? for so, us. I mean, look at yeah. like maybe in our head, like, man, can I do that? But listen, we're going to take that risk and, and try it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, real good. Absolutely. All right, Sam, over to you. Samuel L. Jackson coming in, the director <laughs> of virtual. Sam, why are you doing the death race? Uh, honestly, the to be honest, I want I, I, I initially did it because I needed that win. I really thought about it like I need that win. I, we started virtual and, you know, the way virtual is going and everything like it's starting to build back up and everything. I really like the direction. I've got some ideas for it. But at the end of the day, I was like, I need to get in there and I need to do this with these guys. And I need to swim. But at the end of the day, you got to remember comic book fan, video game fan. This is basically Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> we got invited to the race. You can't go online and buy this ticket. Yeah. You can't you can't you can't apply for it. You got to go to these races. You got to get noticed by somebody and they got to go. Hey, you look pretty awesome. I feel like this is a joke for you right now. Let's try this crazy thing. We've been asked how many times on this trip alone, what is a death race? Yeah, oh yeah. What is a death race? Yeah. And you know what we've all said? I don't know about you guys, at least. I'm going to say what I said. We're not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. It's going to challenge us, you know, because it's 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 meant to mentally challenge you as well as, physic as, phys as, well as physically. So, like, we can run as many miles as we want. Mm -hmm. We can do as many pull-ups as we want. We can do whatever workouts we want. We can do all the functional training, all that jazz. But at the end of the day, he's going to find our weakness and he's going to try and bring it to the forefront, not necessarily exploit it, but definitely show you that not only can it be overcome, but 
are you going to do it? Yeah. And that challenge in some cases, I feel is just going to be a simple question. And I really love the idea of being a part of something that not everybody can do. Yeah. And not necessarily, I don't mean that physically, like anybody can do anything. I totally believe that. But there comes a time where there is an invite for you to get a chance to do something that not everybody gets the opportunity for. Yeah. And this is one of those moments. This is one of those things where, no, you're not, you, like, it's, like I said, there's no entry for it. Yeah. Legit Joe DeSena said, Trav, what was that? Yeah, more, it's Mortal Kombat, dude. Like, like Joe DeSena owns Spartan. Right. You interviewed Joe DeSena and he said, I got a challenge for you. I need you to find 10 people to do this with. And you said, I got just the lunatics in mind. Or, or as JC calls us, Journey X. I got just the right Journey X journey in mind. Acts or, so, or Kindred Spirits. Yeah. yeah. Like it's, and, and to Sam's point, uh, you know, Overcome a Nation, this is how this works. Uh, people have to submit a resume as to why they think that they should be accepted into the death race and, and do a video and, and different things. And, and not everybody gets in. And of course, you know, that a majority of people that get in don't even get to finish the death race. So it is a very challenging event. And, you know, just to kind of give credit to what you're saying right yeah. there, you know, like not everybody gets accepted. Um, and, and, you know, I don't know why Joe invited, I told him, you know, that I was part of a pilot coaching program and he worked us out for like a day and a half, 36 hours. And, and, you know, uh, but for whatever reason, he thought that I seemed crazy enough and he thought I might know people crazy <laughs> enough to join me. And here they are. <laughs> oh, that's great. You know, so uh, any special dedications for uh, this race and from anybody? I know Jeremy mentioned some, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll dedicate this to, you know, my family, my wife, my kids. I have five kids. Uh, my oldest is 12. My youngest is three. And then in, in uh, their eyes, I am Superman. You know what I mean? I am. I am the hero, you know what I mean? So uh, this will be something that down the road, you know, maybe <laughs> they might not care whether it's like this big thing. I mean, it brings tears to my eyes to think about them and, and their dad, you know, being able to have the opportunity to just, I, I'm, I'm so thankful I have a body that can move and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's probably gonna move a little slower after this. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you know, for them and then for my, my fit fam and then my team, you know what I mean? Like, um, I think by doing something like this, you know, it, it just says something about you. It says something about, you know, you, you, what you have within here. Because I was thinking about it and I was like, well, if I was like one of those, like an elite Spartan that was like competitive and I was like, well, we're just one of those guys, which, you know, I am in, in a way, but not like doing that. I don't know that I'd want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. I don't right. like be training for that. But like, I think just for uh you know the the average joe and jane you know like the like the you know that mm -hmm. you know i've had a weight loss journey of 100 pounds you know mm -hmm. what i mean and, and all that, that that experience going through those trials and tribulations and then with a family and this and that you know that that you know there's there's more to life there's more right there's more uh so seek more in your life you know what i mean like what is that for you like if, if you find ask yourself those questions you know what am i doing my life you know when i wake up my feet hit the floor am i doing something am i living my purpose am i living my you know is what i'm doing bringing me joy and then i feel impactful that i'm i'm serving and helping others because that's really what we're called to do is be of service so you know how can i make an impact doing that and um i don't know that's kind of what i got to say. anything else from you sam um well something that i picked up while working here and the people that i've met along the way while working with you is uh they say you can never pour from an empty cup mm -hmm. and uh that was something and this feeds into kind of what jeremy was saying earlier at the end of the day you know we need to we need to better ourselves and if that means do it that means that not if it means we need to challenge ourselves mm -hmm. and at the end of the day if we don't know what a challenge feels like if we don't know what it is to challenge ourselves we can't sit there and throw extra weight at somebody and say you can probably lift that and, hey well, you know yeah. you can run that race so honestly, I am dedicating this race, honestly, to my future self to let me know, like, there are things out there that can challenge us and make us better. And we need to do them so we can present our members with the best versions of ourselves ever. It's like the law of the lids, right? The yeah. law of the lids, like you can only take someone as far as you can, you can go, right? Yeah, like, and so like, if I... As long, well, I'm going to potentially death. So like, you know, like, you know, so if I can take, that's cool. Like I can impact somebody up to that point. It's just that idea. Figuratively it's just, speaking. Yeah, it's just, it's just that idea of like, you can't, you can't, you can't push someone to a point if they don't, if they don't even think you've been there. So like, honestly, for me right now, like I look at, I look at all of you guys and all of you have something amazing that you have done in life. 
Like, I know your weight loss story, Jeremy. I know JC's weight loss story, Jeremy. I've read your book, Travis, like legit. So like, <laughs> like that's the thing. Like, so for me, I don't have, I haven't had, to be honest, I haven't had that crazy of a hardship. And so when I present myself on virtual, they just see another fit man in front of them. But if I can tell them that I've been mentally challenged, I have been physically challenged while being mentally challenged, that will bring people going, oh, this guy's not only crazy, but he knows what he's talking about. And you know what? I can let him coach me up for a couple minutes yeah, and go from there. And so, I think uh, the one last thing, I think one thing that could be a lesson learned and you know, I really do want this for my daughter who was like, you know, when she's out there running and she has a kid that's faster than her, she stops running, right? Mm -hmm. And the one of the lessons I feel like you can learn from this, like, if you do fail, right? And, you know, if I don't make it the full 70, yeah, two we'll hours, hours, right? right yeah. and if, I, and if I, I fail, at least I know I tried, right? And it's all I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is, is help me grow, right? And and learn from that failure and not finishing that race. Um, fail up. You know, right? And, and, and as a lesson, it's okay to fail. Right? Yeah, we are yeah. going to fall down yeah. some point of our life, right? It's about how you get back up and you go back at things, right? So, like, don't let small little things that, that might set you back be the deterrent of how you live the rest of your life, right? So, yeah. um, if I don't make it the whole 70 hours or 72 hours, like, you listen, it's okay. It's okay. I guarantee you I'm going to learn a lot on that hill um, if I didn't do it. It's okay. Just as long as you test yourself. And, and you know, here's a tip for you that I, I realized in saying yes, is that right now you think you got big goals. Maybe you're somebody out there listening and you feel like, well, you know, it's a big goal. I want to lose 20 pounds. Here's my encouragement to you. Set a bigger goal. Set a goal to do something like, you know, the Spartan that intimidates you or the DECA event that intimidates you or whatever it is that's going to make your current big goals seem like small goals because then, because then they're, they're more achievable. And there's a, there's a quote out there that the depth of your struggle Will determine the height of your success and, and selfishly i kind of want to go through a struggle with you guys <laughs> I, mean, right? I want us to all have that bonding experience of a really tough struggle and like like men of war do they go off to war and they're laying in foxholes and they're marching through mud and whether they see action or not you know their boot camp was tough their times in the barracks were tough you know whatever it is you know like those are that's bonding you know those, those are you know you went through something deep together and uh I'm really honored to be doing yeah. this with you guys, you know. So here we go. we go. Death race, here we come. We we ready. Ready. Yeah. 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 I was just thinking of my dad, like I was because I lost my dad recently, and I just had thought just came to me that uh, you know, I was like, my I, I'm I think I'm choosing to do stuff like this, and I am the way I am because my dad, you know, like in ways like I remember he entered into uh when the tough man contest came to like the, the boxing thing came to mm -hmm. the area at the fair. He enrolled right into it yeah. and he didn't win it, but he got up in the ring yeah. facing yeah. other guys, just yeah. knocking, you know, fighting, fighting, it, fighting it out. <laughs> Let's go. Like I was, yeah. I was a young kid, but that just came in my mind. I'm like, yeah, obviously on this race, I'll be thinking of my dad because he's not here, you know, and whatever. I'm like, my dad did stuff like this growing up. He, he, he would do things like this. Like he went and enrolled and got into a ring with guys and just started beating the crap out of each other. You know what I mean? Like, well, well let, let me just say I mean, some strange things been happening in my faith over the last couple of years. So I want to invite the spirit of JC's dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know, like fight for us. Man. Yeah, let's Same. go. Yeah. Yeah. Give us that fighting spirit. That's I always awesome. heard it this way. Stay, <laughs> stay in the, stay in the ring because the fight is fixed. Ah. Stay in the ring because mm. the fight is fixed. Ah, that's real good. It's real good. So there it is, Overcomer Nation. That's why we're doing the death race. We're doing it for us. We're doing it for you. Hope this inspires you like it's inspired us. Thank you guys for being on the show. Do, do something well. crazy. Yeah, do something crazy. Let's go. We ready. We ready for that race. <laughs> Thanks for listening, Overcomer Nation. Make sure if you haven't already, give us a five-star rating. Make sure that you share this and subscribe so you can see all of our future content. That's right. And if you'd like to be a guest on a future show, go to overcomers-podcast.com. If you're interested in our franchise opportunities with Journey 333, then go to www.journeyfitness333.com. And finally, if you like what you heard today and you feel like you're somebody that needs a bit more coaching, go to travisbarnes.com.